Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I'm talking to you about the lion's gate. Now, this is uh, the common name for an energy that occurs every single year. What is the lion's gate? Well, in ancient times, it was actually the time where the stars aligned with the star system of Sirius, sometimes called the dog star. And it was thought to be a point of origin. It was also a time for receiving energies. In Egypt, it was when the tides came up and the stars aligned with the pyramids, the tops of the pyramids from a certain angle. What does it mean for us? Well, what it means is it's here. Some of the things that you have wanted, waited for so long, and a lot of people who I've worked with, you worked so hard, it's gonna be here. So this one is about the end because we are drawing in essence from all of those ancient timelines and that part is gonna be done. Lots of ancient stuff, but a lot of stuff hitting the fan too, if you don't know how to deal with it. But it is also a new beginning and that's what we wanna focus on. Now this is going to include new relationships of all types. And I don't mean this to sound hokey. This could mean new job relationships, new collaborations. This is going to mean new things that actually benefit your life. If you've done some of the work, then you're up-leveled already and you can receive that stuff. Conversely, if you have not worked on up-leveling yourself and you maybe didn't even know you had to do that, you may find that you're tumbling around in the washing machine and some of your relationships are shutting down somehow. That's why I'd recommend for people to, you know, ride the energy so that you're using the highest aspect of the energy and not the lowest aspect, okay? Things do happen. You're living in a place where karmic things will still happen. Well, why should it happen to you? And why should it happen so frequently? So new relationships and just the world chaos alone dictates that there be new ones. Okay, you can see a lot of chaos. There's, you know, all kinds of things that are creating chaos. Um, some of it's man-made, some of it's not man-made. Okay, the man-made stuff is stuff we could do stuff about and get out of that low level and move it up, right? Maybe some new engineering things, maybe some things to check for negligence, um, maybe some new um, tweaks to the legislation. Those are all things we can do. That's on a larger scale. In your physical life, what that is going to mean is stop the conflicts. You cannot stop conflict without stopping the conflict in your heart. Who is agitating you? Who is ticking you off? Who is making you so pissed off that even though you're a light being, you want to go off on them or you want to punch their lights out or you want to tell them off or hit them with your car or, you know, maybe it's a romantic relationship gone awry and you're, you somehow forgot you're a light being and that there's ways to get rid of that false person and do it the right way, which is the most above board way that you can possibly do it. Instead, we go in, we give in to human tendencies to retaliate and get back and hurt and because we're hurt. And that's something people say, hurt people, hurt people. Guess what? It's the end and it's the beginning. It has to be the end of those kind of conflicts. Learn how to still the conflict in your heart. Learn how to do some things. I have many tutorials and books about this, how to. Not only that, if you don't believe that your light body is actually paving the way wherever you go, where you're like using the force on people, it's time to start experiencing it. And not, you know, they're lying to you when they say, oh, you know, light workers, we have, that's the bane of our existence. People are always persecuting us. No, they're not. No, they're not. Those people don't know how to get out of the low level and get up where they belong. They believe they're a light worker. They go out to all kinds of ancient sites where this landscape is closing out the energies. Any energy that's there is from the synergies of, of people. It's people. It's always people because we're the ones embodying it. The next thing to know, so yes, this dictates there be new relationships. Divorces and breakups will occur. If you are going through a breakup, if you are going through a divorce, if you think a divorce is pending, if you're having an impending breakup, please know this. And this is particularly for females. 
a lot of females get screwed. They get backstabbed and they get the short end of the stick when it comes to divorce. Why? They're not accustomed to fighting for themselves. But I'm here to tell you, it doesn't have to be a fight. It can be much more equitable. I did it myself. And I'm here to let you know there is a way it goes through your twin flame body. Because your twin flame, whether or not they're with you, cares about you. The higher self cares about you. Your soul cares about you. So divorces and breakups, can we smooth these out? That is one of the things that will happen during this Lionsgate energy. Get some coaching for it. Get a reading. I guarantee you if you're already feeling it, it's probably bound to happen. If not now, it, you're going to lock in with that person and lock horns and continue the conflict. Have a cold war in your own home. That's up to you. But it doesn't have to be that way. Now, new things, okay? Many people claim to get messages, but many people still rely on their mind and ignore the real messages. They're looking at license plates and clocks and phone numbers and number sequences or a butterfly landed. Those are all fun. But the real meat is going to be in what is the message, the intuitive message that is coming through you. Have you ignored intuitive feelings and knowings? What do you know in your heart? Because I knew in my heart I was going to get divorced. I knew in my heart that things couldn't continue the way they were. And if you're even saying this to yourself, I can't do this anymore. I can't. Time to lift up using your twin flame body so that you're getting into that up level level where it begins to flow for you because a better you is beyond self-improvement. That's not reading a book for, you know, self-improvement. That is letting your twin flame body do what it naturally does because it's a natural part of you. It is intended to be a natural part. You got it all folded up inside and it's got to open and expand and envelop you and be your vehicle in the world and not in the world too. So have you ignored things? that are really glaringly obvious. Maybe they're even glaringly obvious to other people. Well, the Lion's Gate is here to help you with that because bringing in your essence is the oomph that you need in order to get yourself where you need to be. You may not like where you are. You may not like the transition, but there is a place where you're aligned and where you need to be. Have you faced your problems? Now, the next step that comes after facing your problems, okay? Rebuild or build yourself up the fastest way is with your twin flame body. So please join us. Join us for my class. Please check out the links below. We are starting very soon. Please like and subscribe. Share this video. Please know we do sessions in energy healing, coaching, and we have books and tutorials in the live class. We do live question and answer. Get some of your questions answered on the spot intuitively by Blu-ray Twin Flame. So thanks so much. Have a great day. I hope to see you there. Bye.